What's going on everybody? Gideon from Atlanta Entertainment here and we're going to do my first impression of the Yoshi's Crafted World demo for the Nintendo Switch. I don't have a capture card so I'm recording this old school, recording the screen and you guys will hear my commentary in the background. I'm going to be playing from my couch. Um, hopefully it should look really good at 60 frames per second. It looked, it looked alright when I did the Spider-Man one. I mean, well, I don't know. I thought it looked alright but you guys let me know in the comments if you like this method or not. Or um, should I get a capture card? So that's up to you guys. So let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll give you my impressions on Yoshi's Crafted World. I have played it once already and I think it was really cool. But I'll, I'll do a think aloud. So in the game industry, we basically, um, you know, when we play games and we try to test them. Especially for our friends or other game developers that we know. We say what's going on in our mind as we're playing it. So I, I'll think I'll do that. So stick around, watch the video, hope you guys enjoy it, get in from Anna Entertainment, and this is going to be Yoshi's Crafted World Demo on the Nintendo Switch. Alright, so now I'm going to play the Yoshi's Crafted World Demo. I was just playing the Damon X Machina. And because my kids are all asleep, I have a small window of time that I can actually record these two videos. So I'm not going to throw them out back to back. I'll probably do one like on a Monday or Tuesday and the other one like on a Thursday or a Sunday or something like that. So we'll see. I still haven't quite figured out the schedule. But um, <laughs> so yeah, just to be completely forthright and honest, I have played this demo already. But I'm just going to say how I feel about it. Um, I love the visual style. It is so freaking cute. I think like um, many have people have been hearing say that this is Nintendo's first completely Unreal 4 game that they've developed. And uh, yeah, it looks beautiful. It's very cute. This is definitely a game that I would feel safe having my kids watch me play. Here we have um, Little Robot Dude. It's Sunshine Station Grand. Come visit any old time. Okay, so let's do the first front side mission. Gonna go through it, show you guys um, something that, you know, my perspective. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, one thing that I automatically love right away, and it's because I'm an old school gamer, is that you can move with the d-pad that is so like it's so pleasing to me when i play a 2d side scroller like i hate when um you know as much as i love smash brothers i really can't stand that i can't move with the d-pad so let's see with x you can kind of move the eggs around and then uh this is something i kind of discovered that i thought was really cool you can hit stuff in the background how cool is that pretty damn cool i have to say Yoshi has his standard moves, the and if you keep pressing it, you can keep doing it as long as you can. See, so if you get the timing, I don't even think you lose, yeah, you don't lose verticality if you, if you get it right. But I uh, can't see a piranha plant and not destroy it, so peace, piranha plant. Did him? Love the music. Press A to make Yoshi flutter in the air. I love how everything looks. I mean, it's called Crafted World, so it only makes sense. But I love how everything looks like it's crafted, you know? It's so cool. So cute. Now, I didn't play um, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Oh, no, wait. That was... Yeah, that was Kirby's Epic Yarn and Yoshi's Woolly World, I think it was? So, um, I never got a chance to play the, those games, um, you know, because not, I don't have a lot of money right now, but <laughs> not trying to, you know, have a pity party or anything like that. But um, just to say, I can't compare it to these games. What I do remember playing very fondly was Yoshi's Story, um, uh, Yoshi's Island for, for Super Nintendo, and Yoshi's Story for N64. Those games were my jam. I used to love when you would be the level and the Yoshis would go, Be careful! Be careful! Like, it's just, I want to eat them up. They're freaking cute, they're adorable, and they have no business being that cute. Uh, I sometimes, you know, just want to devour them because they shouldn't be that cute. But they are. 
How does she make an egg? Get him! Get him! Dum! Get him! Dum! Get him! See if there's anything else we can hit in the background. I like that it lights up too, so you know what you're aiming at. Oh, and I kind of figured this out by accident. So if you're trying to hit something, let's say in the f like this, you can see that red indicator kind of lets you know that it's gonna bounce off. So see, you can kind of bounce it off. So you can do like, kind of like a uh, playing pool. It has like pool mechanics, so you can do like tricks. So let's see, I'm, I'm gonna try to hit that green thing by bouncing it off the floor. Yay, I did it. You should have probably made him so nice. This was one thing that I thought was really cool. So I'm like, all right, cool. I can hit things in the background, no problem. What about in the foreground? And there you have it. You can hit things in the foreground too. So it kind of has like a 3D, like an actual literal 3D feeling. You know, not just 3D as in like a 3D platformer, but it's a 2D game with a 3D feel. And it looks like you could, yep, you can hit them multiple times. Ah, oh, that was it for that one. Let's go get some more eggs. Oh, there was another guy up there. Also. Just like in the classic ones, you can kind of get them right before they come out if you time it right. See? <laughs> Fun. There's a gift box. Yay! I can only imagine if it's anything like the original um, Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story, uh, this initial demo is not an indicator of how challenging the game is going to be because those games can be brutally hard despite their cuteness. So let's see, I'm going to hit his little balloon thing. Oh, he looks so sad. I'm sorry, little dude. I'm sorry, shy guy. Let's put you out of your misery so you don't get sad, bro. Oh, hey, that never happened to me before. Looks like I got extra hearts, maybe for hitting them in, in succession or something. Cool. So there's one, well, that's another great thing about this game. There's new things to be discovered. What's this? Oh, can't interact with it, that's okay. Oh, hey. Yay! Ah, it looks like the bell from Super Mario 3D Land. Yeah, so since I already did this mission, um, it's not giving me the option to, uh, it's not showing me what I'm supposed to do, but I guess that's pretty cool for you guys, because you won't get a spoiler. You know. In terms of what's going on here, you're kind of just seeing. That's all. Oh, hey, you can throw items too. How cool is that? That's all. And I love this. I love that you can go in and out of the background and stuff. It's really cool. It's a really cute game. There's obviously the whole going through the stage backwards mechanics. And there's, uh, you know, trying to find the poochies in, in time. So I guess I'll stop this playthrough uh, prematurely. Kind of so I can just show you guys the, the poochie aspect. Which is the same level but backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. With Yoshi facing the screen. Give you some kisses there. Yoshi!
Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly do the find the Poochie Pops. When I first did it, I was trying to like interact with everything, so I didn't get the, the reward for it. So now I'm gonna try to be, this is more speed run, right? So not a speed run like if you're a pro, but you get the drift. So now I'm going through the stage backwards. Yoshi! Got no eggies, so I can't try to hit anything. Did him? Did him? And if you notice, it's pretty clever. Like, you see the backside of everything that if this is the area I was just in. So we're seeing it from the backside now. Yoshi! So, time to get some eggs. Yay, got the first pooch. Poochie pups. Yay. There's another one. Stop hiding from me, Poochie. You're cute, but ain't got no time for that. Ah, I can't resist, can I? No, I can't. <laughs> I love that you can throw the Poochies and, and whatever other items you get. That's so cute. Poochie Pops! And we did it! Yoshi! Yoshi! <laughs> yeah! So freaking cute, man. Ah, I got the goal this time. Woot! So yeah, that was my impressions of Yoshi's Crafted World. Um, basically, that was my little gameplay session. I really like that game, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually been kind of hyped and excited for a Yoshi game. But this is cool. I mean, it feels just as good as Yoshi's Story and Yoshi's Island felt, you know, back in the day, Super Nintendo and N64 days. And I grew up with those games, so I, I love those games, you know. And um, Obviously, I can play something as, you know, adult and gritty and grungy as Resident Evil 2 Remake, which, by the way, I will do a review for that. I haven't forgotten. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed Yoshi, right? It's it's simple. It feels familiar, nostalgic, but at the same time, it's new. I like the mechanic that you can interact with things in the background and the foreground. Even though you don't have to, you can actually, you know, walk up to the foreground, quote unquote, and, you know, interact with it on the regular 2D plane. But the fact that there's an option for that is really clever. It's really creative and cool. And I'm assuming as you get into later levels, you know, you're going to be able to play with that idea like even more so and find secrets and stuff. And that's always fun for me, especially in a 2D platformer. Um, I love the fact that you can that you can move with the D-pad. I mean, to this day, I'm, I'm always saying I wish to God that smash brothers would have a control option where you can um can move the characters with the d-pad and use the analog if you want for like taunts or whatever because much rather play with the d-pad for any fighting game or any 2d game in general so i hope you guys liked my impressions of yoshi's crafted world i uh i geeked out and i cued it out because uh it's freaking cute i love it and hope you guys enjoyed the video gideon from man entertainment have a great day peace